Hello and welcome in to an episode of Under the Waves, a whole new game to the channel. Uh, never played it before whatsoever and figured let's go to the shot and see how it goes. Alright, well, as you see we're at the main screen. I'm going to hit the button to go ahead and start a new game. I think. <laughs> there we go. Uh... Okay, so it's a sticker that's visible on the uh, diving suit. Okay. <laughs> we'll just go with the first one. Ain't no real preference. Base to Capsule 12. Capsule 12, come in. You there, Stan? I'm sorry. Who is this? Ah, there he is. Why, if I'd known the big man himself was running my orientation, I'd have put a tie on. Ah, there's gratitude for you. The finest in Unitrench deep sea fashion, and he talks about dressing up. How you doing, old man? Old indeed, but fine. Glad to have you back. Yeah, well, you're probably the only one. <clears throat> Let's just get this suit calibrated, okay? Drowning on my first day would be embarrassing. I mean, the headlines alone. Oxygen and seals were signed off by the prep team. Well, great. My compliments to the tailor. Not just any suit, Dad. Back to the gills with cutting-edge technology. Uh-huh. Just means there's more that can go wrong. Forget about it. You'll be fine. All right, last thing. Helmet mic check. Check, check. This thing on. That'll do it. So how about it, lad? Ready to head back into the blue? <sighs> You have no idea. Okay. All right. Just like in training. Nice and easy. That's the spirit. Don't forget, keep an eye on your oxygen. Try not to overextend the seals. The mini sub should be all set up by now. Should be a big door right in front of you. Head through there. That's the garage bunker. Easy as falling off a log. Okay. That's. Uh, that's a big door. Wait till you see the rest of the place. Valve on the side there should pop it open.
Looks like a lift. Hmm. Heavy. Anything else around here to take? More crabs on the ground. Crunch. Alright, well. Okay. There's a can there, but as soon as you start getting close... It disappears. So that's a bit weird. I must have used something like this to get all my stuff down. Better not have broken anything. Okay. Quite sure what the whole point of pulling that was. It's darker in here than it is out there. Well, that's not right. Looks like something tripped up the fuses. Been a while since anyone's been down there. Hang on a moment, I've got maintenance on the other line. There, lad. You're going to need to power up the place manually, so head on through to the generator room. Fairly sure I didn't tick engineer on my application form. Lucky for you, Unitrench had the lowest common denominator in mind when designing our facilities. There's a couple of Jennies in here with big old startup levers. Find, pull, voila, instant power. Whatever. But if this goes wrong, I'm not paying for it. <clears throat> Door stuck fast. Need to activate the generators. Not sure what I'm doing. I'm just. How big is this place? Big. Going along. It's the hub for a load of the systems in these parts. The garage itself is another part of the facility. <laughs> See that door beneath the fans? I'm gonna have to swim to it. You're going to have to swim to it. Uh, how much air does this suit have again? Enough. Look, if you get stuck, we'll send a drone after you. They've picked up worse. Okay. All right. We're doing this. Remember, you can adjust your depth as well as your direction. That suit's pretty hardy, so don't worry about poking any holes in it. Believe me, the pencil necks put it through more stress than you ever will. Controls. Okay, um, another door. Hang on there a moment. Time for what the boys in HR call a learning opportunity. If you're sure. Why walk when you can swim? Really? You put the bee there. 
Right. Would you stop spinning in circles? Have a look over there. Oh uh, yeah. Oxygen stick. Two steps ahead, as usual. I forgot they integrated them into the training. Pretty impressive stuff, Tim. In suit oxygen resupply. You have no idea how much of a headache those things were to get working. case just lying around though. Unit Trench are committed to a minimum impact operation. Also, you never know, might come in handy. Now where to? to you. Really helps the crushing anxiety, old man. I'm joking. She's a solid piece of kit. Now you're a fully qualified unit trench service diver, we spared no expense. Well, we thought she might come in handy. You'll have to decouple those clamps first, obviously. A couple of buttons on each side there. You know the drill. Lock for me. Looks like she's all fueled up. You were a diver once upon a time. Was that here or? Oh no. This is the training ground for kiddies. I used to work in the real deep, way down, the original site. Count yourself lucky we don't need you down there, lad. I mean it. Do a quick look around now that I've uh, found a few things. Rudder. Spinning up rotors. Impressive. Ha. <laughs> Not just a pretty face. Think of it like swimming, but faster. And with a higher insurance premium if you smack yourself into something. 
Green across the board. Looks like we're good. All right. Door should have unlocked. Off you go. Doors working as intended, I see. The wonders of automation. A cave. I was kind of expecting a big reveal there, Tim. It's all about timing, dear boy. You'll see. Lots of life. Even down here. Now, let's get you out of this cave and we'll see about getting you to your new home. There she is. Told you it was about the timing. She can be a beauty, that's for sure. All right, quite enough of that. Off you go. You need to reach the life module. That's the tub you'll be calling home for the next few weeks. You can use the sonar system to highlight your position. Should make getting lost a little harder. I see it. Heading there now. That must be the life module. <laughs> Looks like a lighthouse. No, on the bottom of the ocean floor. Quite the view. See the docking bay there? Moon will fit snug as a bug. Procedure can be a bit fiddly though, so just uh, take it slow. Pay no mind to the drone there. It's assigned to the area. Our jobs and so on. But, uh, try not to run into it. Docking complete. Heading inside. Roger that. Okay, now where's the entrance? Okay, where is the entrance? I have no idea. Yeah, see the dot, but I don't see how to get in. Oh, there it is. It's above me. Figured we'd figure it out sooner or later. I'm in the airlock. Excellent. Get that suit off and call me on the radio when you're inside. Just gonna sit for a second. It's, uh... This is all... Hey, 
Take your time. Been a big day. Yeah. Thanks, Tim. No worries. See you inside. Okay, this is not as bad as I expected. It's actually... Okay, cozy. It does, um... Is this right? Hey, Tim. Finally. Okay, now the fun part. Press that button over there on the panel. Is that the light switch? You'll see. New user identified. Stanley Moray, level three worker. Welcome aboard. Stan, meet Mercury, the newest addition to the Unitrench family. Ah, a talking computer. Merc's a glorified calculator, but he'll help with the admin and the like. Just don't expect any debates on the meaning of existence or anything. Hmm. Pretty swish. You're worth it, Stan. Only the best for Unitrench employees. Uh-huh. Why do I think you're joking? I'm offended, lad. Anyway, now you two are acquainted, you should have access to all the rooms. All rooms now unlocked. I'll give you a moment to familiarize yourself with all the luxurious facilities at your beck and call. You're welcome, by the way. I'd start with the storage room. Make sure your stuff arrived in one piece. This looks like the storage room. All right. Yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be great. Think everything made it down okay? Thank God. If something had happened to these. Well, should hang them up at some point. Without drilling any holes. <laughs> Assuming you've no complaints, the rest of the day's your own. Make yourself at home, get some rest. Tomorrow we get to work. Nighty night. Not Tim. I should probably check in with Emma. All right. Seems simple enough. I can make this work. Oh, hey, a computer. They really did push the boat out. Tim said I can call Emma from here. than a telephone, but I think we're good to go. Hi, this is Emma. I'm not here at the moment, obviously, so do the thing after the thing. Oh. Lost. Hi, Emma. It's Stan. I mean, it's it, it's me. Hi. I, uh, I made it down okay. Uh, I know I didn't... Uh, what we said before I left, you, you said you needed space, right? And I needed space, so... So, yeah, this is space. Uh, just, Tim set me up with a phone. Obviously, uh, it's the number I gave you. He said the, the line should be fixed by now, but yeah, it's Unitrench, so who knows? I miss us. I miss. 
Uh, you know what? I'm gonna let you go. Call me. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you should... You should get to bed. Pretty basic. Let's see what's damn things frozen shut. Yep, that could be an issue. So, what can we do and what can we not do? Hold on a minute here. Uh, let's see. Let's. Okay. <laughs> Arg me, matey. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kale, but what can I do for you? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, let's get out of this. <laughs> uh, okay. You gotta hold. Okay. You gotta hold it to get out of it. Seems kind of redundant. Given, you know, <laughs> bottom of the ocean and all. Rather exposed. Yeah, don't Good you job think? Alone. I mean, you got it right next to where your bed is. I mean, it's kind of... Uh, well, I think we pretty much looked around as best as we can. But, before we actually go lay down, I'm going to say that this is going to be the end. Just wanted to see how the game is and if y'all like it. And if you want to see me do some more please let me know down in the comments meantime though we're gonna go ahead and end it here uh it seems like a good time you know end of the day but i uh, appreciate y'all coming and watching and hanging out with me and uh hopefully y'all enjoyed with you know the video i've been so far enjoying the game it's uh seems interesting and i'm looking forward to finding out more about it meantime though y'all stay safe take care and i'll catch y'all in the next one. Oh, real quick. If you're new here and you liked what you've seen, go ahead and hit that like button if you don't mind. It does help the channel to grow. And also, if you want to see more, please hit that subscribe button. It does help the channel. And uh, don't forget to hit the bell icon when you, so you get notified of any videos that get posted or live streams that I may do. Meantime, though, y'all stay safe, take care, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye, y'all.